Hey Rada YouTubers, I'm KP and it is Friday so it is Face Mask Friday and I am doing a review on a drugstore face mask today and it is going to be the Clean and Clear Blackhead Eraser Cleansing Mask. I'm really excited to be doing this one. Um, it is cheap. I've been using this, uh, this face mask for years before I ventured out and started exploring the world of face masks. This was the only one I bought. It already is like halfway used because I do use it so often and um, yeah I'm excited to show you so my face isn't washed or anything I saw my makeup on that I put on this morning and I'm going to cleanse my face and then I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna show you how it looks before and after and tell you what I think about it so hold on tight okay so I've got my face mask on I, I clean my face with my Cetaphil um, face wash nothing new there and um, I have this on and let me tell you a little bit about it while it dries on my face. Um, it is got salicylic acid in it um, and acne medication I guess. Uh, it says it draws out trapped dirt and oil and loosens blackheads. And then let's see, I am trying not to be so shaky, I am so sorry. Let me get on the other side here. Whew. Goodness, I am up on a pedestal, look at this. This is what I'm doing so I can get good lighting because in a bathroom it's really horrible lighting. I can hear an echo so and I'm just struggling today. Anyway, the Clean and Clear Blackhead Eraser Cleansing Mask draws out dirt and oil to help keep your skin thoroughly clean. Immediately after applying you feel a cool tingle telling you that it started working which I do feel a little bit of a tingle. And after five minutes, simply rinse off for skin that is clean and fresh. Helps prevent future blackheads from forming. Um, like I said, I have been using this, uh, this face mask for a really long time now. And um, I can't tell you how many of these I've went through. They are super cheap. Five or six dollars at the most. I will always leave a link below for you to check it out for yourself so you can see where you can buy it at. Usually Walmart, Target, anything like that, they, they carry it. So I'm going to set you right here. Maybe. Hmm. Am I going to set you? My camera? No, I'm not. I'm trying not to be so shaky. I, I've watched my videos and they're just like all over the place. Anyway, so um, I can feel the mask starting to tighten up. I've had it on for two minutes now. And um, it goes on like an aqua blue. And then, like most of them do, it, it like dries to be a white, like crusty. It's still a little, it's not dried yet, but it's not as damp as it was before. Um, anyway, I am going to... Let this sit on for a couple more minutes and then I will take it off and I will show you my skin afterwards. Okay, I've had the mask on for a little longer than five minutes because I started watching a, a YouTube video and <laughs> had to see the ending of it. So as you can see, it has dried to a white consistency. You can't, you know, it's very soft on your face once you put it on. I mean... It, the mask does feel really soft. You can't see any like drawn out. I probably don't have a lot of blackheads or anything right now. Um, but you can see the little the little pore areas. You know they always the masks. Most of the masks always sink into those. But oh, I always have to do that. You can see it break up a little bit. Okay, I am going to wash it off now. Okay, I washed the face mask off with a washcloth and just rubbed it around and got all of the white off. As always, my face feels so soft. Um, for the price of this face mask, it really is, uh, it really is very good. Um, <clears throat> I, I can't really tell any different. I can't see with a lot. Oh my gosh. Awful today. Um. I didn't see that it extracted any blackheads like it says it's supposed to, but like I said, I did not really particularly have any. Usually on my nose is where they're at, but um, I do love this face mask. I have used it for a really long time. I've never had a problem with it breaking me out or causing any kind of rash or any any harsh burning or anything. So, But as always, if you have sensitive skin, 
please speak with your dermatologist before trying any type of face mask. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of short this week. It's super simple face mask, really easy to put on and wash off, and it works great. So check below for the link, and on Fridays, check back um, next week. I will be doing a high-end face mask, um, so let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see in the future. So we'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.